Would you believe that a human being can make it rain? It's not magic. It's called cloud seeding. It all began in 1946. Two scientists named Vincent Schaefer and Irving Langmuir accidentally discovered something about dry ice. It could turn supercooled water droplets in a cloud into ice crystals. Following their hypothesis, they flew over Mount Greylock in Massachusetts, conducting what would be known as the Schaefer-Langmuir experiment. They dropped dry ice into a supercooled cloud. They successfully made it snow. But how does it work? First, how does rain fall? In the sky are microscopic dust particles and pollen, invisible to the eye. The particles were sent up by volcanic eruptions, dust storms, fire, pollution, or even simple winds. Water droplets condense around these particles. Those condensing water droplets are carried even higher up by the stronger winds in the Earth's upper atmosphere. There, they gather together and become clouds. As clouds, the droplets grow larger and start to freeze. They grow heavier, heavy enough to fall. This is how hail, rain, or snow falls from the sky. Cloud seeding tries to boost this process. An aircraft flies through the clouds, releasing silver iodide, salt, or other particles. The point is to encourage the condensation of the water droplets. Recent methods even use electrical charges to coalesce water molecules. So why aren't we using cloud seeding to end droughts? Well, we try. But cloud seeding can only increase seasonal precipitation by around 10%. And even then, its reliability is shaky. So no, it's nowhere near strong enough to cause a hurricane or create a flood. It's not even strong enough to create a cloud. It can only boost the moisture in an existing one, hopefully encouraging rainfall. What do you think? Could there be a way to make cloud seeding more reliable?